Libra. In this message, we were seeing how you experienced a loss recently and you're having a hard time opening up about this. Let's jump in here and see what's next, Libra. I feel like it's going to be important to find a mentor, somebody who you can freely express your emotions with. Let's jump in. Hello, everyone, and welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, viewers, and the world out there. Today, we're looking into Libra's full moon energy reading for the month of February. Now, understand, Libra, that through this full moon, a lot of us are going to be confronting our fears. It's going to be really important through this energy to tune in to your body, okay? Pay attention to how your body is feeling, especially around the full moon, February 16th, February 17th, okay? Now, in this message, Libra, we're going to tap into the energy that is no longer serving you. We're going to look at how you can release this energy and where this is all headed. I'm going to clarify throughout the message. I'll pull a few cards at the end for advice, guidance moving forward. If it's something you're interested in, you're more than welcome in joining us. Also, Libra, if you like the vibe, how I interpret the cards, you're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel. Everyone's welcome here, and it does help to set intentions for future messages. So let's tap into these energies for you through this full moon and see what exactly it is that you need to release. Libra. I do feel here an energy of loss. Okay. Now I know that we have the emperor and the sun as the first two cards coming out. The reason why I say you're experiencing a loss in the present energy I also see the Eight of Swords, the Devil, we see the whole spread. Now, we're going to clarify this in a moment, Libra, for you. Your energy, the energy you need to release is the Emperor, the Sun. I feel here that you may be portraying outward, like everything is okay. But I feel here there is a need to kind of confront this loss. Okay, because I do feel here underneath the surface, Libra, you feel distraught, okay? This is something that may even trigger a past wound of yours, bring up some old memories, okay? So be mindful of this. Now, I do feel like you are going to come out of this easily. You're making a plan to move forward. The thing with this is stick to the plan and stand your ground and this is why it's important to know what you need in a relationship what you want all of those things are going to be important for you we're going to clarify this energy here we're going to start with the emperor and the sun now if you find the messages helpful or resonating with your situation please give it a thumbs up all the love and support is very much appreciated it does help with the growth and getting the message out so thank you guys so much for that. You are all freaking amazing. Libra. I feel here there's a situation that maybe you felt an intense connection with this person. Okay, you felt like this was your person, the person who you were meant to be with. But I feel here, this person was only meant to come into your life to teach you a significant lesson. Some of you are coming to terms with this, but I feel like this is 
for some of you been a slow grueling process will be a slow grueling process i do feel currently you are in an energy of loss libra you are in an energy of needing to accept and try to be mindful of your emotions of how you're feeling okay every i have an alarm set every day at 2 30 to practice conscious awareness and what i mean by that for myself is i take some time only like five, 10 minutes. And I focus on how my body is feeling just in that moment, just in that day. I want to be aware of my body. I want to be mindful of how I'm feeling because how I'm feeling, my emotions are going to dictate my thoughts, how I'm thinking. Okay. That's very important here. I feel here in the present energy, if you keep trying to put on a smiley face you keep trying to pretend like everything is okay this is going to be more harmful than helpful there are people that are going to be around you that are going to help you through this transition that may even give you advice to make it through this experience but you have to open up libra and that may be part of the challenge is opening up emotionally to other people Okay, let's clarify the Eight of Swords with the Devil here. Clarify Eight of Swords, Devil Energy for Libra Spirit. What's the most important message here for these cards? Precisely, precisely. Libra, I feel here that in the present energy, it's almost as if you're wanting, you're longing for somebody to come in to, to complete you, to make you happy. And what you're finding is it's impossible. There's people that come in, you have these experiences, you get intense emotions connected to this person, and then something happens that causes a disconnect here. What I feel, Libra, is being presented to you is you may need to take some time by yourself at least for the next month or two and i want this to be a month of deep contemplation for you and it's not going to be all the time you're going to be sitting and thinking but i want you to schedule certain days or certain times of the day where you're giving yourself time to think about how you're feeling to think about your emotions I also want you to think about places and people who trigger you. Now, this is going to sound kind of absurd, but I want you to go around those people or in those places where you're easily triggered. The reason being is because I want you to learn to control your triggered emotions but you're going to learn how to control those triggered emotions in a controlled environment. So this is when you feel comfortable, when you feel safe with your support system or the people who you feel like you would enjoy that time with, okay? Don't make this about a person or a relationship, Libra. Make this about dating yourself, okay? Make yourself the number one priority for the next month or two months, okay? And it's going to feel uncomfortable because I see here, Libra, you are unhappy, not connected to your partner, not finding a person who complements all your attributes. But this is going to be the beginning part of that process, okay? You need to take some time. You need to sit with your uncomfortable emotions, with your triggers, understand those, get clear on where you see yourself headed. And even more so, think about the type of relationship you want to have. Don't think about a specific person. Think about the characteristics of the person that you envision for your future. Think about what you and this person do together on a regular basis. Visualize how this person interacts with you and how you feel through these interactions. Now again, don't 
focus on a specific person. Maybe this is like an avatar that you're creating in your mind or something. I feel here there is a need to get in alignment with your future. Okay, with your future self and where you see yourself headed. Libra, I feel for a lot of you, there is a lot of past hurt, a lot of past pain, grief even, that you're having to heal through. And you get to a stable position with the specific person and you start through this healing process and then that position becomes unstable. You need to find that stable position within yourself, Libra, first, okay? You want to be able to fill your cup before you can expect anybody else to come in, before you're going to be able to help anyone else or love anyone else completely. Mm -hmm. I do feel here, Libra, that you are coming to terms with a lot of painful emotions from your past. Taking time to move through these emotions and really have an understanding is going to be important. Libra, what I feel here, the fear that is holding a lot of you back is the fear of being alone. So let's pull a few cards out here for your advice, guidance, moving forward. I am not doing an extended version to this reading, guys. These are strictly for YouTube. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all freaking amazing. Libra. I feel here... We have the Page of Cups, the Wheel of Fortune, the Ace of Swords, okay? So there is a need for truth, for clarity, for honesty. The Ace of Swords is the sword of truth, okay? What I feel here, Libra, is there's a need to really be honest with yourself in the present energy, okay? Right now, I feel like you're blocking your own blessings, to be honest with you, because it's almost as if... You don't want to feel these feelings. You don't want to feel the sadness. You don't want to feel the experience of loss, of heartache, okay? That's something that it's uncomfortable. It's difficult to experience, but it's necessary. You can't avoid those emotions. You can only learn how to transmute that energy easier. I do feel here, Libra, taking some time for this next month, even if it's just through February, you're going to start feeling a lot lighter. But you need to look at the situation, this ending, very honestly, very practically. Be very honest with yourself. Don't sugarcoat it, okay? Sometimes the harsh truth is what people need to hear in order to shift their mentality to make these changes. Okay, let's pull your healing message out. This is the Whispers of Healing deck for you guys. Mm -hmm. We have Seek Seclusion. I love these cards. They are beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So Libra, this card talks about taking time alone. Okay, but mindfully taking some time alone getting clear on your future pretty much what we've discussed in this reading so the message that comes with the card libra is find a place that feels like an isolated sanctuary you need some seclusion away from the hustle and bustle of your day-to-day -day routine your routine may have become so busy that you have no time for regrouping this card is urging you to take a much needed break. You would benefit from being in a place where you can leave your daily stress at the door. So in a nutshell, Libra, there's a need to take some time to recalibrate your energy, to get back in tune with yourself to where you see yourself headed, what type of a relationship. It's all going to be important for your future. You have to take the time to create this vision. Don't put this on another person to do this for you, 
okay? This is your future. You need to take grasp of it. Create that future and then take action on that. What steps do you need to take in order to get there? So, Libra, I feel like that's a good solid message coming out. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all freaking amazing. And I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.